good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we want to look at Jesus Christ as he fulfilled the scriptural pattern of a priest. As we understand, he is our great high priest. He is our mediator. So the old covenant priesthood had a threefold pattern. And that threefold pattern, one is to offer sacrifice for the people. Two, to go within the veil or the holy of holies to make intercession for the people. And number three, to come out and bless the people. So these are the acts of one, reconciliation, intercession, and benediction. When we look at Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 3, we will look at Hebrew chapter 7, verse 26 through 27, on Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 2. So as we look today at Hebrew chapter 7, verse 26 and verse 27, it says to us, For such an high priest became us, who is holy, blameless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens, who needed not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice first for his own sins and then for the people's. For this he did once when he offered up himself. So here we are seeing that Christ's priesthood is superior to that of Aaron, to that of Melchizedek or any other high priest because of his personal excellence. He is holy in his standing before God. He is harmless or guiltless in his dealings with man. He is undefiled in his personal character. He is separate apart from sinners in his dealing. He is at God's right hand, even the very place where he is. He has become higher, the scripture says, than the heavens in what? His present and eternal splendor. It is fitting for us as the believers to have such an high priest. Unlike the Levitical priest, or high priest does not need to offer sacrifices daily as those high priests are used to do. Why? Because he died once. He died and he did this and he will he doesn't have to do it again for our sins because he is absolutely sinless. An amazing thing that we look at, it differs from the former priest in that uh, he is not only offering uh, a blood sacrifice for himself and the people, Jesus himself became the sacrifice. And so he died for the sins of the people. The priest gave himself 
as the sacrifice. He is the priest and he is the sacrifice. What wonderful, matchless grace that Jesus died as our sacrifice and he is our great high priest. When we look at Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 3, he says, For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Therefore, it is of necessity that this man have somewhat also to offer. Sure enough, Jesus has more than any other priest or high priest to offer. Since one of the principal function of an high priest is to offer both gifts, the Bible says, and sacrifices, it follows that our great high priest must do this also. What is gifts? Gifts is a general term covering all the types of offerings that can be presented to God. Sacrifices were gifts in which an animal was slain. Under the new covenant, we find that Jesus Christ didn't need any rams, nor bulls, nor lambs, nor he goats, but he laid down his life as the sacrifice. So positive finality. The Bible says he has appeared once for all he died. The work never needs to be repeated. The sacrifice doesn't need to be repeated. Remember those priests only could come once a year and do this. But Jesus Christ did it once and for all. We also know that he did it uh, what at a special time, a propitious time. The Bible says he appeared at the end of the ages, that is after the Old Testament or the Old Covenant had conclusively demonstrated man's failure and powerlessness. The Bible says he did a perfect work. He appears to put away sin. So the emphasis is on the words put away. Only Christ himself by giving his life as a sacrifice could really put away sin so it was no longer a matter of annual atonement now it was eternal forgiveness those who would believe in him those who would place faith and confidence in what he did for us by giving his life as a sacrifice for sin on the cross of Calvary a persuasive uh, sacrifice he put away sin by the sacrifice of himself in his own body he bore the punishment which our sins uh, deserved Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 2 we also, like Christ himself, who gave himself for us, must give ourselves for others. This is what Christ, our perfect Savior and sacrifice, did for us. He loved us, and to prove such love, he gave himself for us. He did it 
at Calvary. So his gift he described as an offering and a sacrifice to God. An offering, as we say, anything given to God. A sacrifice here included the additional element of death. He took death on upon himself so that he could put away sin. He was the true burnt offering. The one who completely devoted to do the will of God even when it cost him his very life. So we see that Jesus fulfilled the scriptural pattern of priest. And sure enough, he is our great high priest, the one who sits at the right hand of majesty and plead or mediate or cause before God. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please comment, please also share. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.